Good morning. I am Francisco Diaz Mitoma, BBI's Chief Medical Officer. I am presenting the results of a phase two clinical study on behalf of all the PIs and our partner, Brie Biosciences. I will describe BBI 2601, which is an immunotherapeutic designed for the treatment of chronic hepatitis B, and the present and will present the safety and immunogenicity results and next steps for functional care. BBI is committed to the elimination of hepatitis B, for which it has developed two candidates, one as a prophylactic and the other as an immunotherapeutic. Our prophylactic free antigen vaccine has long history of safety as it has been administered to more than 750,000 neonates children and adults. This vaccine candidate, BLA, is being evaluated by FDA with a potential licensure date of November 30th this year. The immunotherapeutic candidate is also based on the natural presentation of the three antigen wild type hepatitis B virus envelope, but reformulated to enhance B and T cell responses against hepatitis B, therefore helping restore the effect of hepatitis B specific immunity in chronic hepatitis B. The three antigen vaccine candidate is differentiated from other hepatitis B vaccines in the market by their pre-S1, pre-S2, and surface antigen content. The vaccine is manufactured in mammalian cells while the others are manufactured in yeast. The wild type Hep B envelope is composed of the large, middle, and small envelope proteins. So what is the rationale to develop an immunomodulator based on the free antigen envelope? I will explain. In patients with chronic hepatitis B infection, there are billions of subviral particles in the bloodstream. These subviral particles are in vast excess to viral particles and contain very little large envelope protein. Immune response to the pre-S1 epitope may be less tolerized than to S epitopes and therefore play a role in controlling virus replication in chronic hepatitis B. The pre-S1 domain contains several T-cell epitopes representing good targets for immunity. It also recognizes the liver receptor, therefore it has a role in infectivity. Antibodies to the pre-S1 neutralize hepatitis B. BBI novel adjuvant enhances T cell responses to antigens and may break tolerance to pre S1, pre S2, and S. BBI 2601 is an immunotherapeutic that builds in the three antigen confirmation of our prophylactic vaccine, as I mentioned. And the study was aimed to evaluate the safety and immunogenicity of BBI 2601 in chronic hepatitis B patients. Our partner, Free Biosciences, with leading experts in the field, conducted this two part multi center controlled dose escalation study of 2601. The study was conducted in several Pacific Rim countries, and the key outcomes were the demonstration of hepatitis B immunity, antibodies to surface antigens, pre S and S, as well as restoration of T cell responses to S antigens. There were five cohorts, A to E. All patients were non serotic treated with a nucleoside analog and receiving two dose levels of 2601, 20 or 40 micrograms with or without that mixed interferon alpha at four monthly doses of an IM injection. Patients were followed monthly for a total of seven months with clinical and laboratory evaluations. 2601 at 20 and 40 micrograms are mixed with low dose interferon in combination with the nucleoside analog was generally safe and well tolerated. There were no severe adverse events, no deaths, and no enhanced hepatotoxicity. There were no ALT flares recorded, and the most common side effects were those that could be attributed to interferon. In the upper panel, the graph shows in the x-axis the number of interferon gamma-producing T cells in an in vitro assay of peptide expanded peripheral blood mononuclear cells. The y-axis shows the timing of the blood collection. The hepatitis B antigen specific T cell responses were detected against surface antigens at week 16 after vaccination compared to pre-vaccination. The majority of the evaluable patients responded to at least one of the pre-S and S antigens after vaccination, and overall 77% on week 16 
and 76% of week 20 had T cell responses to S antigens. Furthermore, 2601 induced a detectable ex vivo response to S in four out of 13 individuals. In addition, the lower graph panel shows the concentration of anti-S and pre-S antibodies against time. Restoration of anti hepatitis B antibodies was observed in 19 out of 43 or 44% of 2601 recipients. We know a clear difference among the four cohorts. In summary, 2601 was generally safe and well tolerated at both those levels. It restored or boosted interferon gamma producing T cells in the majority of patients. It resulted in induced antibody responses in 44%, and based on the safety data and adaptive immune responses observed in the study. This data supports further clinical evaluation of BBI 2601 as an immunotherapeutic in combination with other treatments or treatment modalities for functional cure. Brie Biosciences initiated dosing in a phase two study to assess BBI 2601 in combination with their biotechnologies SIRNA. The ongoing phase two combination study will assess both 2601 and their SIRNA for, for functional cure in Pacific Green countries as described in this slide. Results are expected in the second half of next year. And before I end my presentation, I would like to acknowledge the contribution of all investigators and patients to make this study possible. Thank you for your attention.